In this Brooklyn supermarket, the staff and customers share a special bond because they're interchangeable. Today, Aussie expat Nora Kogan is a shopper. I save hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Tomorrow, she could be a checkout chick, like filmmaker Leah Maskowitz. Just another day. Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy the role as a checkout chick occasionally? Uh, I do. As part of being one of the 16,000 co-owners of the Park Slope Food Co-op, you have to work almost three hours a month, from food processing in the basement to stocking shelves. I'm a writer, so I spend a lot of time by myself, and it's like nice to just be out there in the community for a couple hours once a month. But the savings are worth the sacrifice. Well, depending on what department you're in, if you're in produce or meat or whatever, we, you know, people like to say between 20 and 40 percent, sometimes higher than 40 percent. The co-op keeps its prices down by restricting the markup on products to just 21 percent compared to 70 percent at large supermarket chains. But it's not just about price, it's also quality. A lot of this produce was grown locally, it's fresher and in many cases organic. New York City is like not an easy place to live and one of the things that keeps me here is the Park Slope Food Co-op. The co-op began 40 years ago, but the concept is now taking off around the world. And do you think this is this is becoming popular because people are fed up with uh, the big supermarket chain? Yeah, I think people are fed up with the big supermarket chains. And unlike big supermarkets here, where cars are rare, someone walks you and your groceries home. I think Aussies should do it. In Brooklyn, Mike Amore, 70.